All right, guys, welcome to the next video of building a GraphQL server. So in the last video, we said we made it so that we could fetch customers. We have a customer type, but we're using hard coded data, which isn't very uh, realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to install something called JSON server that will give us a, a more realistic environment. And we're also going to install something called Axios, which is an HTTP client to actually make requests to the JSON server. So let's go ahead and, and control C and stop the server from running here. And we're going to just clear this out. And then I'm going to say npm install uh, JSON server. And we also want to install Axios. Okay, and we'll do dash dash save. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my package.json file and add another script here. This one is going to be JSON colon server. All right. And then uh, what we want to set this to is JSON server dash dash watch. And then the name of the file we're going to use as our server. So we'll say data dot JSON. Now, even though we're using a file, we're going to be able to make post requests and we'll, we'll be able to update the file through HTTP. So let's save this. And then we're going to create a new file called data.json. And what I'm going to do here is just add some uh, some customers. So this has to be in JSON format. So we need to put double quotes around keys and values. So let's say customers set that to an array. And then I'm actually going to just uh, paste these in just to be a little quicker. OK, let me just tab this over. And we'll just fix this up. So basically, we just have five different customers. OK, so five different customers with the ID name, email and age. We have the same data structure, uh, but we'll be able to treat this as a real database so or a real API. So let's save this and we'll close it up. And then what we're going to do is go back to our schema JS file. And I'm going to just comment out the hard coded data we have. OK, and then let's go down to our. Let's see, first we'll deal with the customer field. Now, what we were doing was just looping through the data, the hard coded data and outputting whatever the, that specific customer was. Uh, but what we're going to do now is make a request, a get request, and we're going to get the data that way. So I'll keep this for you guys just so you have it. So I'm just going to comment it out. All right. And then all we have to do is, first of all, bring in Axios so that we can make a request. Axios is a is an awesome uh, client to make get requests and posts and updates and all that. So let's say require. Axios. OK, and then we'll go back down and we're just going to return Axios. Uh, well, you know what? First of all, let's let's start up our server, our JSON server. So uh, I'm going to create a new terminal. And I'm going to run NPM run what I call it JSON server. OK, just to make sure that that runs. OK, so that's running on localhost 3000 by default. So if we go back to our browser, we can go to localhost port 3000. And that's our JSON server. OK, and you can see we have our customers here and it's basically working like a, a basic RESTful API. And if you want to learn more about JSON server, I do have a video I did about two weeks ago um, and that will show that will go more in depth into this. But that's not really what we're focusing on. Uh, we just need an example of something to work with that's more realistic. All right. So now that we have that running, let's go back to our schema file. And we're going to say return uh, Axios uh, Axios.get because we want to make a get request and we want to make a get request to HTTP. And we're going to do localhost port 3000. That's our JSON server slash customers slash and then the ID, because if we go back to our JSON server and we go to a customer slash one, that'll get us the first customer. 
Okay, so remember we can get the ID with this args.id. So what we'll do is just concatenate it. Whoops. And we'll say args.id. Okay. And then this is actually going to return a promise. So we're going to say dot then. And then that's going to give us a response. Now, one little uh, gotcha with this is that it's going to return it in an, uh, in a data object. So we just want to basically um, map this to res response dot data. OK, so let's go ahead and save that and then we'll go back to uh, let's go to our first terminal and then start our dev server. So npm run dev server. OK, so that's now running on port 4000. So we have the JSON server on 3000. We have our, our GraphQL on 4000. So now let's go back to graphical. And let's just uh, let's just re refresh this completely. All right. And now let's see if we can fetch a customer. So we're going to put our curly braces and customer. Let's say with the ID of let's do four because we know the hard coded data didn't have a four. Um, so we're we're, fetch, we're fetching it through JSON server now. And let's say that we want to get back the name and the email and the age. So we'll run that. And there we go. Sam Mark. So if we look at our file, our data.json file, and we look at four, that's Sam Mark. So it's making an actual request using Axios to JSON server and returning it through GraphQL. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I haven't lost you guys. So now what I want to do is I want to make this work. So customers right now we'll get an error because it doesn't know what customers is because this hard coded data is now commented out. So we want to make another request using Axios. So I'll just copy this one. And inside the resolve, let's paste that in. Now we don't need this slash ID on the end because we're getting all customers, right? Uh, so let's do that. Whoops, I got rid of the quote. And then again, we're just going to it's going to return a promise. We're going to say dot then and we're going to map it to res dot data. So let's save that. And now if we go back to graphical. And let's just say customers. Actually, let's put that on a different line. So customers and let's say we want the name and the age. So we'll run that and there we go. It's going to give us all of our customers. So we're now working with more uh, a more realistic environment. In the next video, we're going to start to work with mutations where we can actually edit this data from graphical. Uh, and obviously we could edit it from a client if we connected it to our, our server. All right. So I will see you in the next video.